Discussion with Scott continues. Rick Barcode, flarebar.com. Scott, do you consider flare bar a sport? I'm going to talk around that. <laughs> <laughs> Very political. <but> I... <laughs> because I can't. <laughs> I think that, I hope that everybody who is a flare bartender never forgets the fact that it's a business. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, it's always a business. It's a way to make a living. Thank you. To you. Very impressed. Christian. Full package. Love this guy. Exactly. A great example. You know how you were saying about the... Uh, I was giving him some love and you interrupted me. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm done. Okay, yeah. um, let's go. I'll let the interruptions in. <laughs> you know you were saying about <laughs> surfing and that guy came along. What's his name again? His name's Kelly Slater. Came uh, in six uh, times. Uh, he full package. That's got the same as um, a bartender coming along that can do the three bottles, that can do the tin and bottle, that can do the port test, that can do the speed run. That's what you while they're While they're working. Exactly. Go, go competitions back. are separate. Go. I'm talking about someone who can get behind the bar and it can do all that. Honestly, I couldn't care less about competitions in that sense. But I'm talking about a full package. You put them behind the bar anywhere in the world and you walk back there and you go, wow, that was amazing. You can talk to customers. You can have all sorts of fun with everything behind the bar, with, with a full beer bottle, with empty beer bottles, with glasses, with strainer with stainless with one bottle with one bottle in ten one bottle. it's variety i want someone who's going to be able to walk into any situation and blow my customer's mind get it get it back to rob's question do you think competitive bartending is a sport and do you think it should be viewed as a sport i hope it isn't in the sense that okay first of all i like exhibition competitions because it pushes the limits absolutely i love that and what's happening is, I mean, you guys are making me a dinosaur. I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> and, and I love that. That's the way it should be. Make me a dinosaur, right? I want to get people going. I want to excite people in the beginning, educate them and motivate them and go, here are some beginning steps. And you go light the world on fire. Like, go take it. It's yours. You know, I've had my shot. You know, it's your time now. Go and light the world and see where we can take this. And the kind of competitions like this, what you're seeing, are you're seeing these, these new kids coming up having amazing f skill but what's happening now, because we are changing the rules of contest, is they're starting to work it into, into actually making drinks. And that's what I respect. Right? I, I'll give you an example. And I, I talk, actually, I talked about Aaron uh, in my seminar today. The fact that, talk, I honestly have talked about it for five minutes. No shit. <laughs> right? The fact is, yeah. my... I told you we should go to that bed. What I want to see... I couldn't care less if you have the hardest tricks or not. Whatever level you happen to be at technically, you know, I want you to be a full package, right? He's an excellent example, Christian. She's an exceptional example because you don't have the same level technical as maybe as maybe Christian does today. But you know what? Everything you did was solid. I deducted, I think, I think 20 points from you. Where everybody else, I was deducting probably 80, 90, 100 points. Out of all the people that I saw, out of what, 80 people, I would consider hiring about six of them. From what I saw. Now, there's an exceptional talent in the room, no question. Unfortunately, what happens when you compete, and this is partially our fault as organizers because we set up certain hoops for you, right? And so you have to jump through these hoops and we'll say, well, that is good and that is bad. It's really up to us. Point is, you're very rushed, your adrenaline's going, and people push too far. When you push too far, you're not relaxed, you're not calm. I don't want to see that in a bartender. I want a bartender who's cool, calm, relaxed, style, and boom, 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 bang, boom, 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 bang. Whatever move, whatever level you're going to be at technically, be in total control. I don't want to spill. I don't want to drop. I want to see you just nail things. I want to have a smile on your face. I want you to stop and I want you to do a little wink here and there, All right? And you'd be solid. And that's what I stop with you. And I respect that yes. so much. Five, six people, right? and more, more in the finals, really. But really, very few people I would look at and go, as a bar manager, as an owner, I'm looking at that, and that's my goal for competitions. I want people to come in and see that and go. I'm a skeptic. I don't like this because I've seen all the juggling and cocktail and cowdy ugly. But you know what? You changed my mind. And you would have changed my mind. If I'm a skeptic, you would have changed my mind. And that's a rare thing. And I applaud you so much for that. Because you have, I think, the integrity of, of this amazing business. Right? You can be entertaining. You do all these amazing things. But you know what? You take care of the customers. You're watchable. You're serving drinks. You made your drinks.